Today's vlog is gonna be a little different than usual. Back in November, I made a deal with myself saying that I would keep up to date with vlogging my reading and thesis experience at the same time and upload a reading vlog every single two to three weeks. Guess what? It is the 29th of January and I've only uploaded one reading and thesis vlog. Wow, amazing. We love to see it. <laughs> this is why I can't trust myself. I did vlog throughout the past two months and I have a ton of footage, but I just didn't have the time to edit it. <coughs> I, just, I just didn't want to edit it. <coughs> so, I don't know. Something was stuck in my throat. So instead of staying on top of my game, I was like... Future Sabine will solve this problem. Well, guess what, past Sabine? F you. <laughs> so I'll narrate you kind of through the past two, yes, two months of my life. And then I'll just show you a ton of clips from past Sabine. And it's not really in any chronological order. But let's start off this reading vlog with something that we all enjoy. Namely, some random aesthetically pleasing shots of me making tea. Because why not? <laughs> Welcome to my second thesis writing, reading vlog type of situation. Tomorrow it will be Monday the 23rd of November, meaning that it will be the start of my third week of thesis writing and this week I will hopefully actually start writing my thesis on sex and gender bias in the cardiovascular biomedical research field, but I have some downtime to read, so let's talk about the books that I'm currently reading. The Dragon Republic by R.F. Kuang. This is the second book in the Poppy War trilogy, I think is what it's called. The third book came out like four or five days ago and I also ordered that one but it's taking a little while to get to my place. But this is a giant, giant book. It is about like 650 pages and I'm currently on page 175. And I'm also listening to the audiobook which is helping me get through it a lot and I'm also reading Happy Now and Print by Marie Lotte Hagen and Nidia van Voortuijs. So as you can tell, this is a Dutch book and it is a non-fiction about feminism. These two women have an amazing podcast. If you're Dutch, please listen to it. It's called Damn Honey and this book deals with 50 reactions that women have to deal with. I find it very difficult to like give you some examples, but for instance, is feminism necessary in the Netherlands? Boys will be boys. Are you on your period? And they are discussing questions that people often ask women and they kind of like respond to that and just like give the facts and it's really cool, it's really good. And I'm on page 98 out of the 280 something. I'm so excited for this week mainly because of one thing and that is that hopefully my new iPad will arrive. I bought the iPad Air 2020 edition. I'm just so excited to download Procreate on the iPad and like use it and practice my art and design new things for my Etsy. I will probably like not do a new like Etsy update in a couple of months because of my thesis. But if you want to check out my Etsy shop, links are in the description box down below. I have like really cute notepads, to-do lists, stickers, bookmarks everything. Link to that is also in the description box down below, but enough with the self-promoting. <laughs> I'm gonna actually pick up a book right now and read some in this thing. I could literally kill someone with this, I think. I could literally kill someone with this thing because it's so huge. Like, I don't know why my brain works like that, but apparently I'm looking for a good murder weapon to kill someone. And now you know, I'm gonna use the Dragon Republic. Anyways, later that week, I received my highly anticipated order of the iPad Air 2020 edition. I filmed a little unboxing, uh, but I rambled on too much and um, I almost dropped it. And that thing ain't cheap. Also, sometimes throughout this reading vlog, you might see me with a little bruise under my eye. And that is because while my boyfriend and I were sleeping, he hit me with his elbow under my eye and he got me a blue eye, so. This is unreal. Oh my god. It feels so unreal that I have it in my hands right now because I've been waiting for this product for so long. Oh my god, did you see that? I cannot be trusted with this thing. If my dad watches this back, he's gonna kill me. 
And right now I'm just gonna spend my whole evening setting up and using my new iPad Air, so. Goodbye. I installed all the things I wanted to install on my iPad. I played with the Procreate app, downloaded some note-taking apps too because productivity, even though I will have a six month gap year within a week. So I don't know when I'm gonna use it. But after that, I received a ton, like a ton of surprise gifts from people, which is insanely wonderful. Like, why would you do that? But I thought I'd share it with you guys. I was just so flabbergasted that like four people sent me books off of my Amazon wish list. Big thank you. You didn't have to, but let's show them to you guys. So a little book haul. Look at me trying to switch up the shots in my vlog so that, you know, it's not all boring and the same thing over and over again. But that is what Corona is doing with us. I mean, when you're staying home, <laughs> How many shots of your room can you make that do not all look the same? But I have a package to unbox and this week will be full of packages. I've made a rule with myself that I can only buy books if I have a gift card or if someone else is buying me a copy. And I had a gift card left and I just really wanted to have these two releases. Oh my god, this never happens in one go! Ooh. <laughs> Send in two different packages, but holy crap, I think this is like a third different edition of a trilogy that I'm owning. Oh my god, it's The Burning God by R.F. Kuang. As you guys know, I'm currently reading The Dragon Republic, but I think that this is the American paperback and that now I own every single version of this trilogy in a different format. Let's check. Hmm, talk about unsatisfying things. <laughs> okay, so a package just arrived in the mail from Amazon, but I haven't ordered anything from Amazon that I can remember, so maybe someone bought something from my wish list. <laughs> Someone bought something from my wish list. That's so cute. Okay, I got Normal People, written by Sally Rooney. I know that this is turned into a movie, no, a TV show, but oh my god, this is so cool that someone sent me this. I hope that there's a note. Oh, yes, there is. Oh, it's from Olivia. Oh my god, that's so cute. Okay, Merry Christmas. I know you said you don't celebrate much, but I wanted to give you something special anyway from Olivia Savannah from Olivia's Catastrophe. Thank you so much, Olivia. That is so sweet of you. We shall see what I think of it, and then maybe I can find a streaming surface where I can watch normal people. Thank you so much, Olivia. <laughs> Guess who got her other package from Bull.com? I pre-ordered this new release and it finally came in. I thought it was gonna come in together with The Burning God, which is standing right over here somewhere. I'm so excited to show you guys which new release is in here. Ta-da! This is These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. I do not know too much about this new release other than that it is a fantasy book that takes place in 1920s Shanghai and it deals with, I believe, kind of like two gangs in the city who have to like fight each other. I do not know too much about it, but I want to keep it kind of like a surprise for me once I do read it. Um. Okay, there was another Amazon package. What is going on with people sending me surprise books? It's really thin. It's quite big. So I'm like, did I put a graphic novel on my wish list? Like, I don't remember anymore. You guys, what is this? <laughs> it's two little books. Two books? Who the f got this for me? This is insane. I just read this winter that I'm gonna guess. Who the f sent me these? I'm definitely gonna reread this then, like next winter. Not this winter, because now I've already read it, but next winter, this is gonna be my book. And then Nick and Charlie, and the fun thing is, I think the audiobook is actually out today on the 17th. Okay, there are a couple of messages in here. Kara sent this to me, just a little gift to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, Sabine. I hope 2021 is the year we can meet up again. Miss you, love, Karis. But this is just too cute. Thank you, thank you so, so, so much. I love Alice Oseman. I have definitely discovered her work. I have read almost everything that she has published. I only need to pick up this one and I am so grateful. Thank you so much. Okay, I hope the lighting is good. Um, I was about to start editing my book haul video. What is going on, you guys? Like, what is going on? People are sending me books. I guess I'm just gonna open them. Ooh, oh my god, okay. Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. I know that this is like, I think an adult thriller, like murder mystery type of novel. This is from Michelle, from Books Michelle. This is way too sweet. 
She says like, Merry Christmas to me. I have to send this book to you because it's my favorite. I hope you really like it as well. And when we can, we will see each other again in 2021. Thank you so much, Michelle. This is so in incredibly sweet. I will definitely let you know what I think of it. And then I also got another package. I'm sorry, I just keep on repeating myself, but it's just because I'm so flabbergasted that people are sending me all these books. <laughs> and this is, I want to close my eyes and let it be a surprise. You know first. Oh my god, this is perfect and my camera's dying. This is Wondersmith by Jessica Townsend. And the thing is, I'm gonna host a Nevermore read-along together with Olivia from Olivia's Catastrophe. So I do have Nevermore, but I didn't buy this one yet. And this is perfect because then in February, we will be reading the second book. And this is from Before My Camera Dies. It's from Brit. <gasps> that is so cute. Dear Sabine, Merry Christmas. This is such a strange year, but luckily we have each other and our Animal Crossing dates. I hope to see you again in 2021 and otherwise through FaceTime. Girls, thank you so much. Oh my god, this is too sweet. Thank you. <laughs> now that you guys have been able to catch up with all of this wonderful book mail again, thank you so much. I cannot stop saying that, I'm sorry. <laughs> now let's actually start with the reading vlog bit of this video. I have read a lot of books in the past two months, a mixture of like fantasy, contemporary, nonfiction, so I hope that you will enjoy it all. And right now, let's actually start the reading vlog, shall we? Wow, Leo, looking good. So sexy. Ooh. Hi, guys. It feels like it has been a long time since I've updated you guys. Today it is Friday, the 27th of November, meaning it was my last day of week three of my thesis already, but that's insane. I think I've already said it a couple of times, but until so far, week three is going well, but I have some exciting updates. First of all, I finished a book. I didn't tell you that I was reading it though, but I did definitely need to finish it this month, and that is Avatar, The Last Airbender, The Promise. This is a really big graphic novel that takes place after the season finale, season three finale of Avatar, The Last Airbender, so I'm not going to talk to you guys about what happens in this one, but it read just as if I was watching an Avatar episode. And that is amazing because Avatar is so much fun. It's just amazing. If you haven't checked it out, I know it's on Netflix right now. Loved it, gave it four out of five stars because I did take quite a big break in between reading certain parts of the story. So I did forget a little bit about the details, but I loved it overall. And besides that, I haven't really continued on with Happy Now on Vrindt, my feminist nonfiction, and also with the Dragon Republic because I have been playing with my iPad so, much in the past couple of days but i think that for right now i'm gonna draw a little bit on procreate but i also want to listen to an audiobook in the meantime and i think i have the perfect one so i want to listen to this winter by ellis osman a solitaire novella i read solitaire this year and i liked it but it's definitely my least favorite ellis osman book but it's also the first one that she wrote and this one is one hour and two minutes so i could listen to this this evening and i don't know how much i will enjoy it because this deals with the characters of Solitaire and I wasn't the biggest fan of our main character, but it's like a wintry story and it's getting cold outside again. So this might be perfect. Just finished This Winter by Ellis Osman and I have to say, it was a lot of fun and really, really good. It deals with mental health recovery, specifically anorexia, and how one of the characters deals with it during Christmas time, which is, I think, an especially difficult time for people with anorexia because there's a lot of attention on food and eating and stuff like that. It was written from three different perspectives from all the three siblings in this family, and I really liked it. Hi, I hadn't noticed you here. So spontaneous. <laughs> Hi guys, today it is Monday, December 7th. I think the glare of my glasses is a bit annoying, so I'm taking them off. Another Monday means another new week of thesis writing. Today is the start of my fifth week already, which is insane to think about and every single monday i have a feedback session with one of my supervisors and until so far i want to just 
you know, knock on wood. She told me that I'm still doing really well, which if you would have told me a couple of months ago that like in my fifth week of thesis writing, my supervisor would tell me, Sabine, you're doing a good job. I'd be like, me? Like what? Maybe sometimes that indicates that I have a bit of like imposter syndrome or that I underestimate myself. So on a different note, reading update, still reading the same books. I'm so sorry. This vlog is probably a bit boring. I'm currently on page 252. So I only have this little part left and I love this nonfiction book so much. If you can speak and like read Dutch, definitely pick this one up. Just the things that they talk about is so amazing and I just wish that everyone would read this book in order to kind of become more aware of our society and of the f***ed up things that we say and that we do. It's just all about creating awareness people. <laughs> and with The Dragon Republic, it's on my desk right now, I don't want to grab it because I'm lazy, but I'm gonna do it for you guys, okay? Okay, so I am on page 356, so I'm a little bit over halfway through this book and I don't know if I already mentioned it in this vlog. I think I mentioned it in my book haul, but I think I have an unpopular opinion that until so far, but I still have 300 pages to go. I like the Poppy War better. I just really love the start of the Poppy War when our main character goes into this military academy and she gets trained into that and you get to discover more and more of our main character's world and kind of like the magic system. And I love that so much. And then with this one, it's just a lot of war strategics talk and warfare. And I don't really care about that if I'm being completely honest. I hope that I was gonna be a little bit more obsessed with it. I think I also have really high expectations since I hear everyone talk about like how devastated they are going to be when they read this book, but maybe, maybe in the end I will be devastated as well. And I'm kind of hoping for that. Like if a book can make you feel that emotional, I love it overall. I think that's a positive thing. Morning, you guys. Oh my god. <laughs> I should have started working on my thesis already for like maybe over an hour, but it's almost 11.30 and I didn't start working on it yet <laughs> because an author sent me an email asking me if I wanted to review one of their books, like a graphic novel that she made. And usually I do not take that opportunity when authors ask me to, but this was a graphic novel and it's called if I'm saying that correctly, it's it's a Spanish word and it roughly translates to brush strokes and you guys, I read this within one and a half hours and it was so good. Honestly, it's amazing. I love, love Fernanda's art style so much. She draws like cats as kind of like the main character of the story. So in this story, we follow our main character. I think her name is Mooney. Mooney is an aspiring artist and she already had her dream job, but then a catastrophic thing happened. And because of that, she can't really follow her artistic dream anymore. And this graphic novel deals a lot with artist blog and just becoming an artist, going into the industry and how difficult it can be sometimes, but also how inspiring the whole journey can be. And it was a wonderful graphic novel, if I didn't say that enough already. It is translated from Spanish into English, but the English translation is only available in like a PDF style, like an online version, but you can get the graphic novel in a PDF style for I think about $2 on this site called Gumroad. And like you can and pay two dollars. I think you can even like give a little bit more to support the artist. And thank you so much, Fernanda, for sending it to me. I rarely read books that authors send me. This was a jam and it made my morning so nice. Like I had such a great morning reading this and it makes me feel super inspired. So I'd say definitely check out Trazos and I will leave a link to the gum road, <laughs> gum road link uh, where you can buy the online version of this graphic novel. And yesterday evening, I also finished Heb je nou al een vriend so good. Please pick it up. I enjoyed it so much. So yeah, I had a great start of the morning and now I really need to work on my thesis. So I just thought that this was a really fun update. <laughs> I'm 
on page 525 of the Dragon Republic. Yesterday I read almost 100 pages and I'm definitely enjoying more of like the second half of this book more than the first half, but I still think the popular is my favorite until so far. I do think that the next 120 pages, like the ending of this book, are gonna be so intense and I'm super curious, so I'm definitely gonna be able to finish this book this week. Right now I'm gonna have my lunch, I'm gonna listen to the audiobook again because I'm just so curious and then I have finished this chunk of a book. A few moments later. I'm on page 621 and all I can say is, excuse me? Excuse me? What the f I have like 30 pages left and I have no clue how this is gonna end. Um, that's all that I wanted to say to you guys and um, talk to you later. <laughs> so I just finished The Dragon Republic by R.F. Kuang. If he would have told me, ooh, I like hurt my book, I'm so sorry. Well, I mean this book hurt me too, so I can hurt you back, bitch. Okay, but my thoughts on this book. <laughs> the characters still grab my attention, but I felt like I had less of a connection with them in this book than in the Poppy War. And nothing really much happens in this book, or at least that's how I felt until like around halfway through. I mean, the thing is, I read the last 250 pages in three days. I guess that kind of tells you how invested I was in that last bit of the story. I think... I would give this one a 3.75 out of 5 stars, so like a 7.5 out of 10 because it is really quite enjoyable and I love RF Kuang's writing style. But like, what am I gonna read next? I don't know. I have a feeling that I want to start this book. And that is The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. Something completely different. This is a romance, but my plan is to read this for a separate reading vlog, so I might give you like really, really, really quick and short updates on my reading reading progress with the hating game. So right now I'm gonna go pack my stuff because I'm gonna go to my boyfriend and I will speak to you later. Bye. I went downstairs to read a book and then I saw that my December fairy loot box has arrived perfect just in time for Christmas. I was gonna say that this feels, ooh, holding it upside down, like it is a little present from fairy loot for Christmas and everything. And it actually kind of is because I am a rep again for December, January, and February, meaning that fairy loot will send me the boxes for like an honest review. Ooh. The theme for this month is thick as thieves. The first thing that I see is a hat. A knitted hat? I don't know how you say this. I think it has to do maybe with Game of Thrones since there are little dragons on the bottom, but I'm not too sure. Here we have a little notepad. And I don't know who this is or like which book series it is inspired by. I'm gonna guess maybe the Children of Blood and Bone series by Tomi Adeyemi. Next up, we have a big box with swords on it. Secret Book Volume 4 is what it says on the side. Ooh. Okay, so it's not metal. It feels a bit paper-like, but it has a gorgeous cover. I think you could like put this in between your bookshelves and like store some beautiful items in here. I mean, look at the beautiful design that is inside of this book storage situation. I think I'm going to use this for all of my bookmarks and keep them in here. We have a little print here, I think, but I haven't read this series yet. So this is a print from the Raven Cycle gang, <laughs> but I do have the first book in the series on my TBR. I still haven't picked it up yet, but this is so cute and looks so pretty. I might give it to Olivia from Olivia's Catastrophe because I see her talking about this series everywhere on Instagram, so she might really, really love to have this. Uh, next up, this is so cute. We have a 2021 calendar, and I'm gonna guess that every single month you have some fan art. So January is Percy from Percy Jackson and the Olympians. We have all of these different characters. I'm not gonna show them all to you. <gasps> I think this is Kel. Oh my God, I just have to show you guys this one. Oh my God, look at Kel. I have like a huge crush on Cal, like a fictional crush, and this is Delilah, Lila Bart. <gasps> okay, so we have two other little items. I cannot guess what is in this little pouch, but maybe like a letter opener thing? It says, oh yeah, oh my god, I was right! Proud of myself. <laughs> sort of Truth letter opener. Oh, it feels heavy and- <gasps> It's so pretty. Look at how beautiful that is and so shiny. And then the last sort of like item are the tarot cards that we always have in the boxes. It's probably not a surprise to you, 
but I don't know who these characters are. <laughs> then last, but definitely not least, we have the book. Look at those sprayed edges. I do really love how the glitter looks, but it does transfer a bit to your fingers, which I don't really love, but it is. Ooh, what a pretty cover. Master of One by Jada Jones and Danny Bennett. I've never heard anyone talk about it, but it says six fey relics, one darling thief, the score of a lifetime. I don't know if this is like a special fairy loot thing or not, but it has beautiful branches on it. The inside dust jacket also has some artwork as well. This looks so mysterious and so cool. It's like a big giant lizard and two characters. <laughs> in the little pouch, a letter from the author with some artwork on it as well. The fairy scoop with like an interview and next month's theme, which is Greek mythology, and this month's theme bookmark. What an amazing box again. And now I'm gonna have some dinner. My mom just called, so I will talk to you guys later. Hi guys, it is the 27th of December. I just finished reading The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. I'm not gonna go into any deep thoughts because that will be in my other special reading vlog. <laughs> I will only say this, I didn't enjoy it as much as I wanted to, but now I'm gonna pick up a book that I really feel like reading and which will probably be my last book for 2020. And that one is Nick and Charlie by Alice Oseman. I got this book from Karis for Christmas, which was just so incredibly sweet and the audiobook just became available on script scribed so I'm gonna listen to that book alongside with reading a physical copy let's grab some food and then I'm gonna read Nick and Charlie and I'm so excited I did not expect to feel this emotional. Like, I was not sad, but I was kind of like on the verge of tears from happiness, but also sadness, but happiness and sadness at the same time. But this book is about Nick and Charlie. And if you have read like Heartstopper and Solitaire and you know a little bit about like the universe that Ellis Oseman has created, you know that Nick and Charlie are a couple. They just seem extremely perfect, but they are going through some life changes. And um, this book basically deals with Nick going to university a year before Charlie is going and they're just kind of having a little bit of like struggles with that. But it just like reminds me a lot about just being in love and being together with the person that you love and that's making me emotional. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so stupid. I just see my relationship back in Nick and Charlie's and I just, I love this so much. That's why I'm emotional. It's also for kind of like a dumb reason. Well, it's not really. I just, I love my boyfriend a lot and this book reminded me of that, so <laughs> obviously. I love this. Five out of five stars. Oh my god. So much better than The Hating Game. <laughs> but the book that I'm gonna start tomorrow, I think I don't think I'll start it today because I have finished two books today. But I'm gonna start Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Menescalco. Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. I got this in the October Fairy Loot box that Fairy Loot very kindly sent to me for free. This book is so stunning. I have heard from my close friends a lot of not so great things. Like, I heard so many mixed opinions. Some people in the book community loved this book and then others thought it was more of like a guilty pleasure type of read like two stars but it was enjoyable so i have no clue like on which part of the spectrum i will end but i'm very curious to find out i think it's like a dark fantasy with a murder mystery in it and it deals with demons and love probably also and this is where i'm gonna end the reading vlog let's make it a surprise to find out what i thought of kingdom of the wicked by carrie menescalco little uh spoiler alert i didn't really enjoy but we're not talking about that in that video. Next week, I'm gonna upload a video called Books I Read This Winter because I didn't do a November, December, and January wrap up yet. So I thought, why not make it a big, big wrap up because I read a lot of books and I wanna talk about them with you guys. But that will be uploaded on my channel somewhere in the upcoming week. So keep an eye out for that. Wow, <laughs> we are finally done with this chaotic reading vlog. I'm glad we're done with it. I do hope that you had a nice 
time. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this reading vlog, this little bit of like a different editing style. I had fun with it. It did take me extremely long, so I hope that I won't have to do it again. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. And you can also follow me on all of my social media pages. Again, links are in the description box. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Thank you.